Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is a quick update for the Lattice experiment with the Lattice Wing. So sorry for the delay. At the moment I'm looking for a new house. Time has been called on our one and we need to uproot and find new premises. As we all know money is a bit tight at the moment so the choice of what's out there at the moment is quite small. So we're just trying to find a new place to live. So things have been a little bit delayed but this is an update of how far we got. On the Patreon at the moment there is one video in the series that's been released. It's April the 2nd at the moment, 2023. So I'm now working on the second video where we're using a DXF file and preparing the profiles ready to be lofted and a lattice pattern extracted from them. The workflow we've chosen needs to be in a kind of real world situation. So in a perfect world, we'll just create the profile in something like part design, create the internal structure, and create the struts in there ready to be lofted. This is the real world, it's not the perfect world. So if we're using DXF file and we're taking the profile, well, straight away we're gonna hit a few issues in that the profile itself, I'm just gonna hide what we've got on the screen. You can see this profile here, it's got many edges. And I've taken a number of profiles from them and they are a different amount of edges. We're gonna have some interesting lofting between those sometimes it will fail sometimes it will pass this is the same in all CAD packages not just free CAD so we need to normalize those edges and add the strut work I don't want to go through and re-sketch those into the part design because that's going to take too long so what I've done if I bring back the profile that I'm working on the profile fusion you can see that we have got less edges in here and we've got this strut work going through here the good thing about this strut work is that if I move it and place it somewhere in a different position and say add another one, you see we've got a number of other profiles in here. If I close and let FreeCAD recompute that, and this may take a little while, what's done it now, you can see that our strut work has reconfigured and the strut work for all our struts have reconfigured as well. So we're feeding off of one strut work has been applied across all the profiles. At the moment, video one has been released to Patreons. So that goes through and takes the profiles, prepares them, extracts them out of the DXF file. We are using an actual DXF file from a plan in there. Video two will be setting up the strut work for the profiles, normalizing the profiles, cleaning them up, but making sure we do it in quite a quick way, working quickly through that. We don't want to get into pulling these into the part design, resketching, etc. We're not going to be doing that. So I'm going to show you a workflow that I'll come up with. And in part three, we're going to deal with the lofting and the lattice structure within. So that's just a quick catch up. It's the 2nd of April, 23. And hopefully those videos will be released as soon as I find time, first of all to Patreon, and then they'll come to the main YouTube channel for all to see. So I'm signing off for tonight. Hope to see you again soon. Hope to get those videos to you. Hope you enjoy the channel and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone or at Ko-Fi or Coffee via ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.